Hi friends and welcome back to Bloom Wilhelma Garden. It's so great to have you here today. Today we're outside doing some fall chores and one of the items on the list today is to shape up some of these little maple trees. You can see here that it doesn't look much like a maple tree. It just looks kind of like a column and I want to get that shaped up before winter comes. Now with maple trees there is a couple little ground rules you have to follow when shaping them up. First of all you don't want to shape a maple tree when it's really small. I planted these from our conservation league about six years ago and this is how big they've gotten already but on average you want to let your tree grow let the roots get in and get established for about three to four years before you go ahead and trim it up really helps the tree be established and it's safer for it to trim. The second thing about maple trees is normally you would trim up a tree and do the shaping in the spring. That's kind of a springtime chore, cutting back in the spring. However, with a maple tree, that is when their sap starts running. And if you're familiar with maple syrup making, they tap the trees, make a hole or a wound, so to speak, and the sap runs out and that's what they gather and turn into maple syrup. So while that sap is running in the spring, you certainly don't want to be making any cuts on a maple tree. I don't know what's under there. I don't know what shape they're going to be. I don't know if one straight up and down trunk or if we have more than one. So we're just going to start diving in and getting ready. And if you are new here, my name is Kim. This is all things home and garden. We are restoring an 1860s farmhouse on a budget and there are plenty of videos in the playlist for you to look at. I love DIYs and trash to treasures, homemaking, all of the things. So look down below, find some more videos, come on along and join us. Give the videos a thumb up and help us to grow. Thank you so much for watching. The tools I'm going to be using today are my pruners, my pruner shears, and my four inch mini chainsaw. I just did a video on this and I'm using it again today. I'm really liking this saw. Now here are my two trees that I planted in our front yard and I want them to grow very similar. You can see here they're almost the same height and they look a little different and I'm going to try to bring them as close to the same height and width as possible. I'm going to start with this one and what I want to do is I want to take off this bottom part and see what kind of a shape or habit the rest of the tree has. So I'm just going to start in with my pruning shears. These are real tiny little branches here. They're twig thin and we're just going to start taking them off right at the trunk of the tree. There we are, much better. But if we look up here at the top, as I explained before, I don't want too many leaders. We just want one leader. And you can see I have these two branches here who are wanting to lead as well. So we're gonna cut them off and make it nice and arched at the top. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the ground to where I made my last cut of branches to see how much distance is from the ground to the bottom of the tree. After that, I'm going to also measure 
from the ground to the top of the tree to get the overall height of this tree so I can match it as closely as possible to the other tree. Well, there was a big difference between these two trees. This one had a lot more branches, thick branches at the bottom, as you see, that I cut off. And that took some of its width away. And then also for the top, when you're trimming a tree, about two foot per year is usually what you cut. But because this one was a little more established, I went ahead and cut off about three and a half foot, which is going to make it much more in line with the other tree. Of course, this tree looks narrower, but we've got them close and now it'll send out energy making it bushier and then it will be a closer match to this tree by next year. <laughs> 